Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. Got an Atomic Cloud Q12 for you today. Uh, kind of a wider bodied front side ski for intermediate through expert skiers who spend most of their time on trail, uh, either prefer a wider bodied ski with more surface area or want something that handles softer snow and crud a little bit better than kind of a narrower 75 millimeter underfoot ski. So 84 underfoot in this 159 with a pretty short turn radius, right about 12.8 meters. And so that's kind of bordering on like, it's like a wide slalom ski basically with a lot of technology filtered down through Atomic's race room. Does make this thing feel like a very high end product uh, that is extremely precise and high performance, especially in the realm of linking short to medium radius carved turns on most groomers. Uh, once it gets a little bit firm, there, is, uh, there are narrower options with a little bit better torsional stiffness, but at 84, it gives you more of a balanced platform to stand on and just extra surface area for softer or snow or degrading conditions throughout the day. Uh, here in Vermont, that kind of happens to us a lot where it's firm at, in the morning, firm and smooth, and then once it kind of gets skied off or scraped off, uh, there's a mix of softer snow piles and then firm snow in between. And that's where something like this really comes in handy. So I think there's a big market for skiers that are looking for uh, something that kind of handles those groomer conditions throughout the day. Uh, this Q12 is a prime target for that market. We are built with a uh, light wood core, so nice energy built in, uh, not too heavy. We do get a Titano laminate as well as a carbon Revo shock laminate in the forebody of the ski. So we have carbon plates there and they're incorporated into an elastomer material and that reduces vibrations but also increases the energy. I think having the carbon here does a great job at keeping it a little bit lighter and more responsive. And then that elastomer does most of the work when it comes to sifting through the chatter and the vibrations. The Cloud Q14, the ski above this, for example, uses steel plates in here. So a little bit heavier and a little bit damper, not quite as reactive. Uh, so that's kind of the difference there is you're getting a little bit more zip out of this Q12. Uh, when we're talking about the shape, you know, it's, it kind of starts with that 84 underfoot waist, uh, but we also have the uh, full camber profile to talk about. Very traditional and classic shaping and profiling in this ski. Lot filtered down and borrowed from that race room technology uh, in terms of that footprint. So that positive camber built into the ski really just provides built-in energy and just a lot of feedback and rebound. But wide, wide shovels, that hooks into the snow really easily. If you think about uh, the leverage created by a wider platform, just means that turn initiation is very instantaneous uh, on this Q12. And then nice square shape in the tail as well. Not a whole lot of skidding out of turns uh, going on with this ski. It does prefer to be engaged in a purely carved turn from tip to tail that's where you're gonna get the best performance. If you're fighting against this full camber, that stiffer flex, uh, you, you, you gotta be prepared to put in the work. Uh, you know, if you're trying to get it to just wash out, it's gonna to wanna to hook in. So be aware of that as you go through this process, as these are uh, very precise and classically cambered skis, but great for on-trail performance. That extra width, I think, is super helpful for changing and challenging conditions. Uh, also, just providing a better balanced platform to stand on. Uh, it's not too narrow underfoot, so you can get uh, some nice balance there. So make sure you check out this Atomic Cloud Q12 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.